news and income tax officials have searched the Chennai residence of the Tamil Nadu Health Minister Vijay Bhaskar. There have also been raids at, at his uh, properties uh, of 34 associates in other places. These raids come two days after video evidence of cash for votes at RK Nagar ahead of the bipoles on the 12th of this month. IT officials say that they believe the minister Vijay Bhaskar has evaded taxes as well. Income tax officials have also raided the actor Sarath Kumar's house in Chennai. Sam Daniel joins us now for a more on this. Uh, Uma Sudhir joins us as well. Sam, tell us a little bit more about these raids. What specifically uh, were these officials uh, looking out for? Did they recover anything? Well, Vishnu, these two raids are one at the Tamil Nadu Health Minister Vijay Bhaskar's residence and another at the residence of actor Sarath Kumar seem to be targeted towards key leaders of the Sasikala camp and income tax officials say they have strong information that uh, Vijay Bhaskar plays a key role in distribution of money for buying voters at the RK Nagar Assembly constituency which would go for bipoles on the 12th of this month and they also say uh, actor Sarat Kumar who heads the All India Samatwa Makkal Kachi party uh, has received huge money from the Sasikala camp in a bid to transfer or distribute this money to uh, voters through his card uh, for voters at the RK Nagar Assembly constituency. In fact, uh, just yesterday, Sarath Kumar had met TTV Dinakaran to express support and uh, to work for his victory in the RK Nagar by-elections. And besides these two uh, raids, uh, raids are also going on at, at least at 34 other locations, which officials say are properties of uh, either Mr. Vijay Bhaskar or his associates. This includes properties in Chennai, Madurai and Pudukotai. And also the Vice Chancellor of the Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University. Her house is also being raided, Dr. Geeta Lakshmi's residence. Okay. Officials suspect uh, she was also being used to hold the cash of uh, uh, okay, Mr. Sam, I just want to bring Vijay in a Bhaskar, larger perspective uh, uh, so on this, and I'm just go, going to go across now uh, to Uma for more on this. Uma, in all of this, there's been a TV channel as well, uh, which has been taken off the air by Arusu Cable in 15 districts of Tamil Nadu since they apparently published results of a survey of voters' mood in RK Nagar, and 70% of respondents apparently here favoured the Paneer Selvam faction. So, in as much as these raids may or may not result in some important recoveries, and we are nobody to prejudge that, I think the overall issue over here is is extremely political, politically sensitive. How is that the case? Certainly, Vishnu, less than five days left to go for this bipole in RK Nagar that is, of course, represented by uh, late Chief Minister Jayalalitha. But this is not just RK Nagar because the result in RK Nagar is going to have larger implications for the government itself. Because if TTV Dinakaran of the Sasikala AIA DMK AMA faction uh, is going to actually win this election, uh, he could most possibly uh, stake a claim to become Chief Minister and he is going to, in, in a sense, reinstate himself. And uh, there seems to be a lot of uh, uh, political kind of tension in that area because uh, uh, despite the fact that huge amounts of money are being distributed, uh, there is nervousness in the other sides that possibly Dinakaran could uh, end up having the edge in the RK Nagar constituency and that is making other parties which are certainly seeing in this larger political opportunity nervous. One would of course be the OPS faction which yesterday as you know brought out the coffin of Jailalitha to remind people in that area that they believe that there was a lot of foul play around her death. They wanted to uh, choke the same emotions of course and that uh, did not go down well with either the people or with uh, the others who uh, said that it is very very uh, uh, in bad taste that they should be doing this. Uh, second of course uh, the Dinakaran himself brought out an old video of uh, Jailalitha that is of course a tampered video and she is made to seem as though in that particular video she is supporting Dinakaran and asking people to vote for Dinakaran calling him a nice man. So there are very very high stakes we are talking about and of course, political motives are also being attributed uh, by the centre that the BJP, in a sense, uh, it, this of course also reminds us of the raids that happened uh, in December, in uh, December 22nd. In fact, uh, when we had raids on the Chief Secretary of Tamil Nadu, I must point out that Mr. Ramon Rao's residence at that time was raided, but ultimately nothing came out of it. And in fact, 
just last week Ram Mohan Rao was reinstated uh, in the Entrepreneurship Development Institute of the government of Tamil Nadu. So yep. this is in a sense reminding us of that. Of course, as you said, we cannot pre-guess about the documents and the amounts that may be recovered, but there is a feeling among analysts that there is a move, uh, attempt being made to get this election countermanded in case uh, you know things may be going okay. not in the favor of those uh, who are looking at this entire right, issue. Of Uma course, the Sam question of the channel as well.